I wanted to do a video about the March 1981 crimes of Ricky Ray Rector. It's a case that I think is pretty interesting from beginning to end. So Ricky Rector had been in trouble since he was 17 years old, just mostly doing small crimes. That really changed in March 1981 when at the age of 31, Ricky Ray Rector committed a different type of crime. So according to court records, Ricky Ray Rector was at a restaurant when the crime happened. Uh, according to a news article, he was at a dance hall. The news article said that Ricky and some of his friends went to this dance hall where they were refused admission because they couldn't pay the $3 cover charge. Ricky had a 38 caliber weapon on him at the time, and he shot three men that were standing outside the dance hall. Two of those men survived, but one of them, Arthur Criswell, died after being struck in the forehead and throat by the shots. That happened on March 22nd, 1981. Ricky was able to evade arrest for a few days by hiding out at his sister's house. A Conway police officer that had known Ricky since he was a child arranged to arrest Ricky. Ricky was supposed to surrender himself to this officer. So Bob Martin, the officer who was not in uniform at the time, went over to Ricky's sister's home for him to surrender and instead, Ricky went outside and he shot Bob Martin and then he turned the gun on himself and shot himself. Bob Martin did not survive, but Ricky did survive. The bullet entered Ricky's frontal lobe, but doctors ended up having to remove three full inches of Ricky's frontal lobe and he had extensive brain damage from his left temple to his right ear. Ricky was tried for the two murders that he committed and he was ultimately found guilty and sentenced to death. This was really before it was ruled cruel and unusual punishment to put a mentally impaired person uh, to death. According to Ricky Ray Rector's attorney, Ricky had issues in school before he shot himself, but after the shooting, he was like talking to a four-year-old child. He could hold a conversation, but he couldn't understand abstract ideas. After his surgery, Ricky had an IQ of just 70. Professionals argued on both sides about Ricky Ray's intelligence, but ultimately, Ricky Ray Rector died by lethal injection on January 24th, 1992. As a part of Ricky Ray Rector's final meal, he asked for steak, fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and a piece of pecan pie. Ricky ate everything but the pie, and when they came to get him to take him to the death chamber, he told the guard that he was saving the pie for later. I did also read that the guard actually did not throw away that piece of pie until after Ricky Ray Rector had died.